Welcome back to Never Enough Novels for part two of my new Christmas books of 2024 series. If you missed the first part, you can head back to my channel and find part one, where I shared the first six Christmas books of this year. This round, I have another six books to share, and I have a few classic Hallmark-style Christmassy novels, as well as one with a little bit more depth, and of course, a spicy holiday romance to round out my recommendations. You can find the Amazon links to all of the books down below, so if you find any that you're interested in, you can purchase them from Amazon and help support this channel. Plus, hit like on this video and subscribe so that you'll see part three of my Christmas book recommendation series and more book recommendations videos in the future. The first book I'm sharing today is The Christmas Countdown by Holly Cassidy. Sisterly love forces Callie into a somewhat ridiculous set of Advent countdown challenges because it's just what her sister Anita thinks she needs to get over a recent breakup. Anita has come up with a list of challenges for Callie to complete to help get her in the Christmas spirit and out of her funk. When Callie runs into the local baker in her town, he agrees to help her out with some of the challenges. And this opens up all sorts of new possibilities that Callie is honestly ready to shut down at first. I'm a huge advent calendar fan just in general, so I like that this has a unique twist on that concept where instead of opening a gift every day, she has to complete a new Christmassy challenge. I also adored Holly Cassidy's Christmas romance from last year, so I'm excited to see this year's new release. Next up, we have The Christmas Cookie Wars by Eliza Evans. This cover just cracks me up because I think it's hilarious to see the angry ginger people on the front. You can just tell this is going to be an enemies to lovers romance. Melody is a single mom who is desperately trying to help her twins get through this holiday season. In an effort to boost their spirits, she takes over the school's Christmas cookie committee. Unfortunately, that role puts her in direct contact with the school's infuriating principal. Their clashes turn into a baking showdown, but ultimately all of that animosity turns into something more romantic. Will Melody discover some happiness of her own this holiday season? You're going to want to read this one to find out. The next book I have is A Winter Wish by Emily Stone. A huge thank you to Dell for sending this one my way. I am a longtime fan of Emily Stone because her holiday books always have a bit more depth than what you normally find. They usually go beyond just like the cutesy kind of hallmark storylines and tackle some tougher topics that people deal with during the holidays. Our main character Lexi hasn't really had any contact with her dad in the past 10 years, so she's shocked to discover that he left her half of his company after he passed away. The company focuses on trips that explore different holiday traditions around the world. Unfortunately, the other half of the company was left to Theo, who is a grading, like, up-and-coming young executive at the company. The will stipulates that they must run this business together for one year before they can decide what to do with it going forward. Lexi figures she'll just gut through a year and then immediately sell her shares, but as she spends more time with Theo, she's realizing he's not quite as bad as she first thought. Plus, as she gets to know the business better, she develops a new appreciation for her father's company and its mission. So this all forces Lexi to deal with her feelings about Theo and some of the complicated feelings about her father and his legacy. I can't wait to travel around the world with Lexi and Theo through this adventure. The next book I have to share is Most Wonderful by Georgia Clark. Uh, thank you to the Dial Press for sending me this one. This features three adult siblings who get together at their mother's house in the Catskills. Each of the Belvedere children are dealing with their own personal drama, so they're kind of harboring away for the season at their mother's house to try and figure out what to do next. Oldest sister Liz is struggling to come up with a plot for the second season of her hit TV show, while also dealing with a huge crush on the main lead actress. Middle kid Birdie has had a successful run as a stand-up comedian, but lately she was just let go by her manager and she just can't seem to reinvigorate her focus on her career. And then youngest child Rafi was supposed to be spending the holidays with his new fiance, but she turned him down in front of their entire company. They all just want to avoid love and focus on their careers and their next steps during the holidays. But the holiday spirit has some other ideas. Georgia Clark is known for writing like really thoughtful and adorable queer romances that focus a lot on like romantic relationships as well as familial relationships. So I think this is going to be a great addition to the 2024 Christmas books lineup. 
Then we have Christmas with a Crank by Courtney Walsh. This one is gonna be released as Kindle only, at least to start. So this would be a great option if you're looking for like a low cost holiday book to start off your Christmas reading. Right now, the pre-order price is only $4.99, so I would highly recommend snagging this while you can for just a couple of bucks. Former childhood friends are reunited 20 years later, but a lot has changed since they were kids. Liam now has no desire to be back in Pine Creek after his parents decided that they're retiring and going to sell their family's Christmas tree farm. Olive is still living in Pine Creek, but she's haunted by some past business failures and a bunch of terrible first dates. A bit reluctantly, she agrees to help Liam's parents with the farm for one like, magical last send off before they sell the place officially but she didn't quite realize that that would mean seeing Liam again, who is less than thrilled to be there. I always love a good grumpy sunshine couple, so I think Liam and Olive are going to be a ton of fun to read about. Plus, who doesn't want a Christmas book that's literally set on a Christmas tree farm? And my final book recommendation is this spicy holiday romance, which I'm so excited for. And that one is How My Neighbor Stole Christmas by Megan Quinn. Once again, Megan Quinn brings the spice with an enemies to lovers holiday romance. She describes this one herself as a spinoff of The Grinch, which I think is such a clever idea. I did not know I needed this type of story in my life, but I can't wait to get my hands on it. Two neighbors are facing off in a classic Christmas showdown. One is a very typical Grinch who is less than thrilled with his town's obsession with Christmas and just wants to hide away in his house for the entire season. The other is his new neighbor who has moved in recently to help with her aunt, Cindy. Story Taylor immediately gets under Cole's skin, especially when she enters the town's Christmas Kringle competition. Cole is not going to let her win, so he enlists the help of his friend Max to try and win the competition himself. I'm a sucker for any sort of holiday competition type book, so I'm really excited to see what Megan Quinn has in store for these two. Plus, I think it will be fun to find all of the nods to Dr. Seuss's original Christmas classic throughout the book. I hope you found some new Christmas books from 2024 that you're excited to read this season and make sure you hit like and subscribe so that you can see my next part in this series. If you missed the first part, you can head here to check out part one and the first six books that I recommended.